Now, here's Storm Team 10 meteorologist Trevor Sonier. Welcome back. Our Sky 10 camera network showing blue skies out there with some cumulus clouds, but storms really not building, and that's due to that high pressure that's around. These clouds can grow vertically, but then they meet that high pressure aloft, and they can't grow any further into thunderstorms. So that's why we're just seeing the cumulus clouds, but we're not seeing the rainfall. 92 in Lafayette, 91 in New Iberia. Feels like temperatures already at 104 in Lafayette, New Iberia, and we could be near 110 before all is said and done later on this afternoon. Storm Team 10 radar is quiet. A few little specks here near Vermilion Paris. That's our 5% so far. May get to about 10 to 15% coverage, but that would be about it. Most of the storms well to the south and east, southeast of that high pressure that's overhead. So temperatures rising into the mid to upper 90s later on this afternoon. Here's future track. It has a few of these storms trying to move in later on this evening. Not sure if I'm buying this, but it has high pressure weakening a bit on the eastern side later on this evening. So we'll keep the rain chance in the forecast and then for tomorrow around 20% once again, but storm chances could increase a bit for Saturday and Sunday. I'll talk about why in just a bit, but temperatures in the upper 70s for tonight, mid to upper 90s again tomorrow, and these feels like temperatures will continue to be in the 105 to 115 degree range for today and for tomorrow. So heat advisories will likely be extended through tomorrow and maybe even through the weekend, but here's that high pressure that's right overhead right now. That's why we're not seeing a lot of storm action, and that's why we're seeing it more to the southeast of us where high pressure has less influence. So let's roll this forward and see what happens through Friday and Saturday. So this high pressure works off to the west a bit. Now we have more weakness aloft. The high pressure is no longer a factor, so we could start to see a few more afternoon storms Saturday and Sunday. Another thing I want you to keep an eye on this little spin right here. That's that potential tropical system. So what happens here? It lifts northward and it meets this trough and it picks it up and it moves it off to the north and east. So this high pressure were to be a little further east, it would stop the storm somewhere in here and try to push it off to the west. But recent models show that this high pressure may try to move off to the west a bit, but it looks like uh, it won't move east quick enough to try to steer that storm to the west. Hopefully, hopefully this trough picks it up. We're still a long ways away. This is Monday, Tuesday of next week, so things could certainly change. We'll have to watch those uh, model indications here uh, through the next few days pretty closely. But here's that tropical wave that we are monitoring. It's near Hispaniola now, continuing to work off to the west northwest, and it has a a medium chance for tropical development, a 60% chance for tropical development in the next seven days. And here's a GFS model. It kind of shows you of what I was talking about here. Here's a tropical wave. It gets picked up by that trough. High pressure works off to the west and this low begins to turn off to the north and it meets that trough to the north. These systems don't move into high pressure. So if high pressure was here, it would have nowhere to go but west. But now that trough is lifting it up in the latest GFS and the European model is similar. So let's hope that happens. We do not want to wish on Florida, but we don't want it over here either. 98, your high today. Hot temperatures, a southeasterly breeze at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Seven day forecast shows 20% for tomorrow. Storm chances increase a bit Saturday, Sunday, and then isolated storms remaining through Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday with hot temperatures in the upper 90s once again. Download the KLFY News 10 weather app. Stay connected today.